To ensure compliance and minimize engineering risk, it is critical that information is released and reviewed as the design of each block reaches specific milestones. The shipyard needs to manage the release of the relevant engineering information, review the data according to internal processes, and approve or reject the resulting configuration. If the configuration is rejected, the shipyard needs to effectively send it back to the engineering team for changes. In this demonstration, we will review two different blocks of a platform supply vessel. The detailed design in these areas is mature enough to be released for review. Both blocks have structure and outfitting items, including major equipment. We quickly see different blocks of the vessel at varying levels of design maturity. The new configuration for each block is captured automatically as it progresses through each design phase. We will browse the design based on predefined shipbuilding specific objects like classes, hulls, blocks, parts, plate nests, etc., as well as various change management objects. We will first review Block 322. This block houses two drill cutting feeders with their associated piping systems and surrounding structure. From the sea trials on the previous vessel in the class, we see that the drill cutting feeders should be moved inboard to improve vessel performance. This will require redesign of associated piping systems and adjoining structure. As this configuration is already waiting for approval, we will reject the configuration and send it back to the design and engineering team. In the workflow we have configured for our shipyard, the rejected model will return to a previous state and then wait for the changes to be made. We will now look at Block 352. Our job is to perform the review and decide whether we should approve the baseline detailed design so that production planning and design can begin. In addition to the larger 3D model, we review the block based on the 3D model drawings used to create the design or based on the bomb structure derived from the build structure of the vessel. We now go back to the block and review the equipment. We want to verify that the block has all the required box coolers in place as specified in the functional design. To find them, we cut away portions of the model that are obscuring our view. Now that we can see clearly, we identify one of the box coolers. By drilling down into this part, we see information for the instance. We then find the portion of the model that contains the rest of the nine box coolers. Before we can finalize the review, we need to check some of the structural areas. We start with a specific part that is of interest. To get a better idea of where the part belongs in the build structure, we look at where it has been used. We visualize the assembly in question and explore individual elements of the assembly. As we review the block, we can quickly move between parts, related drawings, the bomb structure, part catalogs and more. Shipbuilding PLM takes engineering information and then builds and manages a complete set of relationships, including across multiple configurations of the design. We are happy with the detailed design for this block, and we will release the current configuration as the baseline detailed design for Block 352. As we have seen, we have the ability to manage and release the design for a block as one consistent configuration controlled data set when it reaches a particular level of design maturity. This allows us to start production design, move towards the generation of construction drawings, and begin ship assembly for this area with minimal risk. For more information, visit www.ssi-corporate.com.